Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me this evening. Uh, I'm Jay Rogers. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Local Motors, and I'm sitting in an Ollie. Ollie is the first self-driving cognitive vehicle, and it is super exciting to have the training wheels off on this amazing technology. Today, we launched Ollie in National Harbor, Maryland, on a beautiful day with 250 attendees. And this is a huge day in automotive history. Not only is it the day where Ford Motor Company was incorporated June 16th, 1903, but also it's the day where we got people comfortable with the idea of riding around in a completely self-driving vehicle. His name is Ali. Why don't I have him introduce himself? Ali, why don't you say hello? Hi everyone, my name is Ali. I'm a self-driving vehicle powered by IBM Watson technology. I can help people get around National Harbor. Thanks, Ollie. Thank you, Jay. By the way, I like your bow tie. <laughs> That's great. Ollie, I'm hungry. Where can I get some food? National Harbor has some great seafood. Would you like that? That sounds great. What's good? Well then, try the Crab Cake Cafe. All right, I'll go there for dinner. Okay, but don't forget your umbrella. There is a severe thunderstorm warning tonight. All right, I will, thanks. So what you just saw was me conversing with Ali, which makes my life better as somebody using transportation here in National Harbor. And that natural language and uh, structuring of otherwise unstructured data uh, was super real. There is a real thunderstorm this evening and Ali was letting me know. And uh, I'm riding and interested in where I wanna go to dinner. And if you can think about that as just a little nugget of what it means that I don't have to take my phone out of my pocket in order to be able to try to structure data out of a lot of different inputs that are there, but rather using the power of uh, Watson IoT in order to be able to take a lot of the inputs that are out and around me that I wouldn't even be thinking about and make my ride in an Ollie even better. That's the power of getting things done quickly. And, and really what's meaningful to us is that we started on this project three months ago. And three months ago doesn't mean we made a prototype. We sold our first 10 Ollies today. And so the ability for us to be able to go from an idea with a community designed vehicle and put it to rights and make it in a three month period of time and then sell vehicles and move in sparks up our micro factories and makes it possible for us to make this great technology come to life. It's been an amazing day. So these vehicles, these Ollies, are gonna be on National Harbor streets. And all summer long, we're testing and improving and engaging different data that we're pulling out of the vehicles. The sensor set on this vehicle allows us to be able to feed data to Watson and feed data back to Ollie to make life more enjoyable. The goal to have 30 vehicles on these streets by Christmas to be able to connect all of the sights and the sounds that are going around from living to entertainment to exercise and to work uh, is really what will make National Harbor's transportation ecosystem come alive and make it more enjoyable to get around on a daily basis. Making and selling and servicing and operating vehicles locally is what Local Motors, in its name, is good at. That's what we do. And so Ollie not only will start at National Harbor, but this is a nexus for us to be able to deliver the next sets of Ollies and their self-driving system all over the world. Uh, by the end of the year, you'll see Ollie in Copenhagen, and you'll see him in uh, Las Vegas, you'll see him in Miami-Dade County, and several other places around the world. So that means that you're seeing this technology deployed not only for the people of Washington, D.C., but really for more feedback and more engagement across the world. Undoubtedly, the biggest challenge that we've had comes as a result of the speed at which we move. The ability for us to be able to get a product conceived, designed, branded, and out into the market in order to be able to take orders and then produce is something which is incredible because it fits at the clock speed that technology is finding its way into the market and the clock speed where consumers are changing their preferences. But what it means is that perception of what's possible has to come along faster. Too often we hear people walk down the street and say, wouldn't it be nice if, but they don't imagine that it's even possible, and yet that innovation is right around the corner. So today, perception needs to change, and we're super happy to have that opportunity to make that the greatest challenge that we have since we've already figured out that moving fast is possible. So we're all about it, and thank you for having, having the time and taking the time to join us tonight on this great day in history and this great day today for us at National Harbor. It's been a pleasure.